Hey guys, I'm Tim with Original Strength and today I'm going to show you Tibetan Rite number two as presented in the book, The Eye of Revelation. If you've been watching these in the order that I have actually made them, I apologize. This is Tibetan Rite number two and this is the last of the five that I have recorded. Um, it's not that I saved the best for last. I, I may have actually saved the hardest for last and well, there's a reason I did it this way. I just don't remember what it is. So. Anyway, Tibetan rite number two. What you do is you lay on the floor, fully stretched out. You take your hands, put your fingertips close together, put your hands by your hips. And the book says to turn your fingertips in towards each other. And then you're gonna try to raise your head and your legs at the same time, something like this. And you wanna keep your knees straight. And if you can, Bring your feet up or your legs up over your body. You don't have to, but it says in the book that it's nice if you can. So that would be here. And then you lower your legs and your head back down at the same time. And then that's one rep. And when you get back to the ground, you, you relax. And then when it's time to go again, you try to raise your head and your legs up at the same time. and then lower them down, trying to get them down on the floor and resting at the same time and relax. So that is Tibetan Rite number two. And the book asks that you keep your knees straight. And in the book, it says it speeds up all of your vortexes. And I guess that's your chakras. But it also makes concession that if you need to bend your legs to start, you can. So alternatives we can lie here and we can soften our knees and try to raise our head and legs up at the same time and then put them down at the same time and if that's still too much we can go all the way to just trying to raise our knees and our head up at the same time and you do enough of these it's still wonderful and then so it would look like this and you would still relax once they're both on the floor. Anyway, in the Tibetan rites, for each rite, you work up to 21 reps. So you can see if you do the full one right, with your knees straight and raise all the way up and then lower all the way down and then relax for a couple of seconds, it could take some time, which is perfectly okay. Um, anyway, that is Tibetan rite number two. You will really notice it through here, somewhere in here. Um, it, it really works your center. Whether or not it speeds up your vortexes or whether or not it keeps you young or reverses your age and actually helps you get younger, as the book says, I don't know, but it doesn't hurt to try to find out. Uh, it's a good movement. All the movements of the Tibetan rites, uh, all five of them are excellent movements. And I can see how the argument could be made that they actually do keep you young. Um, anyway. I hope you have enjoyed the series, which if you're watching this in order, this makes no sense at all. Just keep, keep watching in order, it'll be fine. Um, thanks so much for watching. I'm Tim with Original Strength, and we'll see you next time. To learn more, consider attending an Original Strength workshop. Visit originalstrength.net.